this bag, I have a set of golf clubs, which is my favorite golf clubs of 2022 with a twist. But also Ooh. this man's favorite. Chris, how are you? Very good, yourself? I'm all right, Chris. So we're out here in California. Yeah, we're going to hide it for now. Oh. But we've put together our favorite clubs of 2022 as a joint yep. because we are now business partners. You better believe it. Get good at golf. That's our get new channel for golf, people who yeah. want to get better at golf one day at a time. Uh, we're out here in California. I'll let you start. Yeah. Um, and then we'll talk through what three wood this is. Oh, right. Okay. We'll not give it but away. Is this, am I right in thinking this is your favorite club of the year, bar not? Uh, yes. Or is there a there certain... Is, there is one that is not here, unfortunately. We'll, when we will get to that. It couldn't be with us today. We'll, we'll get to that. Right, par five. Over the uh, fountain. Next to the fountain. Nice. Oh, That's it's... where we're aiming. I mean, I hope it's over there, but... Yeah? Couldn't hit it any better. But you've liked all year, James, as well. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go better ball today as well. We're going to see what we can shoot, guys. So, handful holes, par 5, par 3, par 4. Again, in the comments below, what are we going to score? I'm going to try and go left of you, Chris. Yeah, we've just been told the line's a bit more aggressive than I took. So, left of the fountain, not right. Certainly left of the fountain. I'm assuming that's okay. I like your positivity. So guys, that of course was the Titleist TSR3 3 Wood, a club which, to be honest, I absolutely love. I got fitted for this year, and you've almost kind of commandeered out of my bag. Yeah, it's a fantastic club. Feels solid off the face. Hit it a long way as well. Hit you it do. better than a driver. It hits it further than my driver, which is quite upsetting. But the big thing for me is Titleist had a good club in the TSI 3. They managed to improve it slightly without ruining it, which a lot of brands do seem to struggle with. So let's see how far we've gone up there. Guys, what are we going to shoot better ball on this part? What a lovely golf course it is as well. We're at Avaria, or Avaria Resort. Resort here in California, near Carlsbad. Uh, I think I should be perfect there. I hope so, because I think I'm too far again. Mm. So, two interesting tee shots. We tried to cut the corner. I'm just safe, and Chris is all the way down there. Chris, what irons have we got? Because we, we've we done a lot with irons this year. We've oh, been looking for a glove. Of course, are you? Yeah. yeah. Um, and the reason why we've got these is we wanted to travel light. Obviously, we are out here in California. He's ripped it. Right, I've got four irons, same club as you, Chris. One thing I really liked about these is that top line as well. So, yes, we've got a tiny bit of perimeter weighting, but the top line isn't too thick, isn't too thin, matches the blade length really nicely. Come on, eagle time. Get it up there. And the really interesting thing is we actually brought a half set. Chris, you're very partial to a half set. You believe it does help people more often than not. Yeah, it helps you be a bit more uh, focused on your shots. You can play different shots. You can play knockdown shots. You can play shape shots. You start to uh, learn how to play a bit, a bit more uh, variety to your game. Yeah, I often find that I actually play better as well when I have half a set, just because I kind of focus in more on the shot. And say if I have a stock shot, I know I can just take one extra club, just kind of choke down on it and make a better golf swing, better rhythm, better feel. Yeah, instead of just getting a club, you know it's the seven iron goes X amount of distance and you just hit it as hard as possible. How's your sunset? Sunset? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's my favourite drink of the year, but oh. it's not bad. It'll do. Now, what is a short game expert's favourite wedges? These ones. So why these? Because I, I, I almost battled with you to get the Vokies on the plane, but we decided yeah. to go for these. Why is that? Again, these are the uh, mill grind wedges. You can see they've got the full face groove. So for me and for m the majority of amateurs, you might off center hit, even with wedges, even with chip shots, you're gonna get more control around the green. So even in the bunkers where you're opening it up, you've got to think that the ball is spending more time on those grooves. So you're gonna be able to control your spin better, control where you land the ball, which is gonna hopefully improve your golf. Right, greenside bunker for Chris. I'm actually short right down there. We did clip those trees. Come on, let's try and get a birdie here, Chris. This is where we make the score. Yeah. Oh, prime example there of why Chris has chose these wedges. Correct. You can see the strike there, a little bit high on the face, a little bit towards the toe, that potentially on the edge of the grooves on a normal wedge. So plenty of control. Very good. 
Right, Chris, I'm going to clean these grooves up and try and send in a bit of a spinner. Anything inside your ball, I think, is a good result here. Sit, sit. Hmm. Not bad at all. So again there, a little bit telly. That was more just a bad strike than trying to kind of do anything or open the face up, but still, I don't know if it spun much. Chris, did it have any on it? Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit of spin, a little bit of control, even from uh, that kind of way. Yeah, stopped it going probably into that other bunker, in fairness. Right. We need to make some birdies here. There's no excuses for not being under par with these clubs. A lot of the clubs, obviously, are the clubs that we have used this year. Notable mentions for the Cobra Forge Tech as well. I think yeah. they were great clubs and few others the mini driver hasn't made it because well it was driver and three wood wasn't it or or another so probably why the mini drivers aren't as popular as they should be they do take up a place in your bag well i went for it chris i was attacking it was positive some would say Never in doubt. You see, that was for you, so you can have a run at this. Just oh, for you. you. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Never in any doubt. Oh, no. And would you say that this is your favourite bucket hat of the year as well? It is, Sosa Grande, the Real Club. Fantastic golf course. Some would say the place to be. So we've gone through the three wood there, the irons and the wedges. Lots more clubs to come, guys, in this video, so make sure you do stay tuned. And also make sure you throw a like on this video if you enjoy it. Par three coming up. I knew we were going eventually. Great strike, but it's middle of the green. Safe. Safe. Safe and sound, no. Cracking shot. Stay there. What a shot. Let's have a zoom in on that. Prime example why you go half set, Chris, isn't it? Look at that. Oh. Yeah, prime example there, Chris, of why you might go half set. That was 180 yards. I knew a six iron would be cutting it fine. Yep. Probably five iron was the shot, but a nice little cut four iron did the job perfectly. And that's something where I'm ever learning about the shots that I'm trying to play. Yeah, again, you commit to that, you're swinging a little bit smoother, there's less error potentially, you still commit to the shot. And there are loads of people behind the tee and they, they really enjoyed it. So All the fans. Always makes it a bit harder, doesn't it? But I'm really, really happy with that shot there. <laughs> you are right, mate? People behind us. <laughs> Speed merchant. So we've not spoken about the putter, Chris. Yep. This is, again, something which I think we agree on in the shape of it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I'll put a few of the putts that I've held this year on screen. Not just against you, but kind of against Gaz and friends and things like that. I've putted well. Partly down to yourself and your fine coaching at Get Good at Golf. Similar to my putter, again, I've got the Nano, the Odyssey uh, Nano putter. Very similar neck, very similar design. Slightly different face, but all in all, a great putter. A tough putt here, though. It's got a good line, but... Oh, the greens here. Rapid. Oh, like lightning. That was a good putt. I thought that was good pace. And uh, could it go? The worst thing is, it's probably still me. <laughs> Incredible. Let me just get this pitch mark three feet from the hole for me fourth hole in one of the year. Yeah, it was a great shot again. Cavity back, a little bit more forgiveness. It's very hard to do that with an MB for James. MB. That's a great putt. Oh. New side. Plenty left. Let's see that in. <coughs> what a fantastic hole here. Great to get out here. I am a terrible team member. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic. All 12, and he'll end up on 17. 17 looks lovely, but uh, slight confusion there. I thought you had three. <laughs> It didn't. Not to say that you would put it 15 foot past anyway, but not the greatest. That putter obviously is Las Vegas Toulon design by Odyssey. I feel bad that we both three put up there when we put it in, but it shows. Just realise I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. He's driving on the wrong side of the road. We leave it all in, Chris, don't we? Yeah, we 
Yeah. Just make sure people see honest golf. That is level par, guys. Can we birdie this par four to get under par better ball with our favourite clubs of 2022? And where better place to tee off than the favourite driver of 2022? We already know that Chris's favourite driver would be the mini driver. But my favourite, actually, I've tested loads of drivers this year. I got fitted for the Titleist TSR3, I got fitted for the Callaway Rogue ST, I got fitted for the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. I also tried the Ping G425, I also tried the PXG0211, which for me, for the price, is the best driver of the year, definitely. £129 was ridiculous, but I can't see past this. Chris, what do you reckon? Yeah. I, I, was, I was saying you were going to... Oh, what is it? It's a stealth, like I really, really enjoy it. I do find that I get those little kind of toey low spin ones that give me an extra five to 10 yards sometimes. That's why I've gone with it. Yeah, very true. A very solid driver. That is a great drive. Straight up the middle, high draw. Perfect shot. So interesting guys, I do think we've kind of put together pretty much the perfect golf club for the majority, of, I'll put my sunset down, for the majority of golfers here. We've got a good cavity back set of irons, a good low spin driver, a nice forgiving but long three wood. There's another club in here which you have kind of seen a sneak peek of, um, but I'm going to go driver because uh, I need to try and make amends for that last three foot. I can't believe I put it to like 10 feet and then did that. That is the one for me, all day. Right, the chase is on. I honestly think we can make a birdie here and get under par for this challenge. Guys, get in the comments below. What are your favorite clubs of 2022? Do you have a set favorite set of irons? Do you have a set favorite driver? Do you have a set favorite wedge? And putter-wise, I honestly think the Las Vegas too long takes some beating. I mean, I know, I know, I'm gonna replay those three putts, not the best, but. Is a solid putter, I'll give you that, but yes, uh, comment below. It'd be interesting to see what the uh, the most common brand is. What ball should we have brought? We haven't brought oh, our own yeah. golf balls because we wanted to save weight on the plane. Kirkland, realistically, I know people honestly think that we are sponsored by Costco, which I find rather in incredible, but okay. I think for the price of a pound of ball, you can't go wrong. Have I done you here? You have, mine was a cloud cutter, one would say. Yes, I've put 40 yards on him. Did you enjoy my uh, birdie on the first hole? <laughs> How far you got, Chris? 134 to the flag. A little bit of breeze. Wedge? Correct. Pitching wedge. We've got some guys really enjoying themselves in front. Right, pitching wedge, dead aim, another birdie. I'll be good, please. Cut. That looks on it, to be fair. It might be a bit left, but... I think it's next to the... Two or wedge, 52. Wedge. <laughs> it is a wedge, but you 52. ain't 52, my friend. Yeah, it's into the wind, isn't it? It is into the wind, yes. I'll draw it in, that'll counter it, Chris. Oh, I can't wait for this. It is a good shot. Could be that is good. the perfect club. Well, you've had to wallop it. I have had to wallop it, you're right, but that's where I quite like these wedges. You've got a little cavity in the back for forgiveness if you, in case you miss the centre. So guys, there is of course one more club in this bag and this is a club which I've, I've put in, to be honest, it's not really a club for the conditions out here in California. I'm not hitting much today either, but it's a club that when I played the best round of the year for me, I hit off a lot of tees, I hit it straight, I hit it long, uh, and generally I just felt like it was something that I could control nicely. Um, what do you think it is? You may have kind of spied it in the bag already today, but that club is in fact the tailor-made P790 UDI driving iron, which is here. I've got it in a two. It's a really, really good club. I really enjoy it. it does need a clean, not gonna lie, but yeah, just a great club. I think it's a fantastic club for an all rounder. They do a P771 now, which I'd be interested in trying, but I don't know why when uh, that works so well for me. Birdie time, come on. A little bit short, but not bad. I think it caught that ridge nicely for you. Come on, one of these and all is forgiven. It's firm. Oh, 
Well, broke a different way than I thought. So, par. Try not to rocket this 15 feet past. I'm channeling that I would be playing against Gaz. That's when I always put my best. There we go. Right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. They are our favourite clubs of 2022. Get with your friends and see if you can agree as well on what your favourite clubs would be of 2022. And apart from that, guys, make sure you check out our new channel, Get Good at Golf, for all your golfing needs. And apart from that, we'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.